This video is sponsored by our friends Real Link. More about them later on. Is it time for you to buy a projector screen? Did you just purchase a projector and now you're considering of buying a projector screen? Or should I actually rephrase and say, why buy a projector screen? Using a dedicated screen instead of a blank wall can significantly enhance your viewing experience. Projector screens offers color accuracy, improved brightness, and a smoother surface for a sharper image. Plus, they are designed to have a specific angle, so that way it gives you the best possible picture quality that's available in your projector. Now, this projector is a long throw. However, I will be demonstrating both long throw and a short throw projector. Key features to consider when buying a projector is the size. Now, obviously it depends on your living room or your bedroom, depending where you are setting up your projector. So it is very important for us to measure up and see if your projector screen is best fit for you. Like we demonstrated in our previous videos, we had to change our living room configuration in order for me to fit a 100 inch screen onto the wall. So again, that's something for you to consider. Do you need to move your furniture around in order for you to enjoy that optimal quality of that screen? Now, obviously the size that you go for, the most common sizes are 100 inch up to 150 inch. So I will suggest you to choose wisely before you paying a lot of bucks for it. The second thing to consider is the aspect ratio. Some projectors come with a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is the most standard of what you would watch in your TVs or YouTube videos. However, there are different aspect ratios like four by three available in the market. So I would suggest you to consider really carefully before you purchase your projector because it depends what the aspect ratio is. Quick shout out to our friends at Real Link who are the sponsor of this video. The Argos 4 Pro is one of the top security cameras that's available in the market. This camera can output 4K with 180 degrees view angle. The good thing with this security camera, it kind of reminds me of the Pro Vision as it has the two goggles. However, um, like I said earlier, it is well built and it is capable to control your camera through your smartphone and you are able to have a two-way conversation from your comfort of your living room. Check out the link in the description, especially during Amazon Prime days. You could get a discount up to 53% if you're around Europe and around 48% if you're based in US. Let's go back to the video. Another key feature for you to consider is the gains, which is their screen ability to reflect lights. And in my case, we've got this LR screen that it amplifies light when it's shown from the bottom. However, it kind of reflects the lights away. So it kind of protects the light from the above. If you have a ceiling light on or any light that's coming out from the window, it kind of detects and it removes all of those lights away and it only accepts lights from the bottom. So that is the design of the projector. That's why it's called a ambient light rejection screens. So those screens are actually quite pricey. And um, like this one here, um, I do have a fixed one on the wall as well as a motorized one, which I'll talk about it later on. This nicely brings me to where you would be mounting the projector screen. So obviously if you do want to have a projector screen that is easily removable, then I would suggest you to consider something like this one here. Now consider where and how you would be mounting your screen. So the options are wall mounted like this one here, which is fixed wall mounted, as well as this one here, you, which is kind of portable. And you, you should also need to consider for any projectors that is coming from motorized, it could be from the floor in my case, for the multi-purpose rooms, you could have a pull down screen. So the moment you pull it down at universities, for example, and you just pull it down and then the screen attracts and then it hides it up in the ceiling. So you do have those type of options. This is an example of a fixed screen ALR from Nothing Projectors and is currently priced somewhere around between $500 to $700, depending on which day you purchase and where you buy it from. However, um, I'll leave a link in the description box with a discount code should you wish to purchase a fixed screen. Now, the only downside with a fixed screen is that you would have that screen up on the wall and you can't move it. That's the only downside. On the opposite side of that, there is a lot of pros. Because it's a fixed screen, you don't have the hassle to set it up every single time. So you do have a fixed screen just like a TV and it does all of the job that you need to do it. So far, I've had this projector screen around three to four months and I've been enjoying myself really well. Whereas before I've had my 55 inch TV like shown here and it was quite small compared to this projector screen. So I'm really pleased that uh, this fixed projector screen fits my needs. However, 
in your case, if you want to have a multi-purpose room, you could purchase a cheap projector screen like this one here. Uh, and this is basically where you could actually attach it on the wall. You could have a pull down motorized screen or one of these portable ones that you could actually use it indoor and outdoor if that is what you're looking for. Now, this is where most of the people will base their decision on. That is the price. So you do have a budget friendly screen like this one here and you could purchase it under a hundred dollars from Amazon or other platforms. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in this specific screen. This is a white screen. I do have a budget friendly gray screen, which is a lot more premium compared to this one here. Now these two projector screens are priced just under hundred dollars and they do have their own quirks, ups and downs. But if you do want to pay a little bit more premium, I would suggest you to go ahead with this uh, fixed screen from nothing, uh, ALR screen, which is priced between $500 to $700. However, if you do want to set up a dedicated theater room and you have the budget to splash it out, then I would suggest you to go with this motorized ALR screen from Vividstone. And it's amazing. The fact that you do have two remotes, whereas you just turn on your projector, it turns on the, your ALR screen as well as the projector at the same time. And the moment you turn off your projector screen, it turns off the projector as well as the ALR screen. So that is really important to have that convenient, the ALR screens. For this motorized ALR screen, I have it on the floor. Um, so, but in your case, if you do have a dedicated theater room, you could have it built. In my case, I prefer this fixed ALR screen, which is between $500 to $700. Depending on your budget, here are my top recommendation. Number one, I would suggest you, if you do have the budget to splash it out, to go with this Vivid Storm ALR screen or fixed screen like this one here from Nothing Projectors. However, I, I do understand some of you may not have the budget since you've spent most of your money towards your projector and setting up sound system. Then I'll suggest you to go with this budget-friendly gray screen and this is currently going below $100. I'll leave a link in the description box. The only limitation with this gray screen is that you are limited to seated in one position. If you sit far away on an angle and you're watching your movie, you may not be able to see the same image quality as when you're sitting opposite of the screen. That is the only limitation. However, when you do have these premium and mid-range screens, then you can sit anywhere you would like, like the TVs, then you'll be able to enjoy your movie as the filmmaker intended. A tip for installation, if you're purchasing a premium projector and ALR screen, I will suggest you to watch this video where I've gone through a step-by-step -step how you set up your fixed ALR screen. You will need a, a second pair of hands as well as gloves. So that way you're protecting your ALR screen and you're not gonna have any scratches. So that is very important when you're installing. I'll suggest you to start with 100 and 100 is more than enough unless you do have a dedicated room where you would like to have a massive 150 inch then you're more than welcome to go ahead with that because most of the projectors they may not be able to output over 150 or if the projector is able to output more than 150 you are compromising the image quality because you have to consider moving the projector a little bit far, the further away you are from the projector, there will be less brightness or light going to the projector screen. Those are the key in fundamental for you to consider when purchasing a projector screen. To recap, choosing the right projector screen can greatly enhance your viewing experience. Consider the size, aspect ratio, gains, material that's made of the projector with either ALR screen or a standard projector screen and the type of screen that fits your need and your budget. Till next time, watch this video.